Many years ago, the Lord promised Abraham that a man would deliver our people out of Egypt. 400 years later, Moses fulfilled that promise. Then a promise was given to Moses about the great and mighty deliverer. Not only will he deliver our people, but he will deliver all the nations of the world. For God said to Moses, A prophet shall come from among you, like unto you, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he will tell the people everything that I command him. For the Lord said, Incline your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And he shall be from the tribe of Judah. A star out of Jacob. A king out of Israel. For he shall be a witness to the people, a leader and a commander. Joshua and David were great military leaders and commanders. Indeed, Israel has had many, but none of them fulfilled this prophecy. The Lord spoke through King David himself, saying that Messiah would come from among his descendants, where his kingdom would be established forever. From David's seed shall he come forth. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The Lord of hosts said, He whose name is the branch will grow up and build the true temple of the Lord, his church, his people. It is he who will build the temple of the Lord, and he will be clothed with majesty and rule on his throne. This king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. One night I saw Messiah in his kingdom. In my vision I looked, and there before me was the Son of Man coming towards God on the clouds of heaven. And he was given much honor, more honor and power than we know on this earth. And he was given a kingdom that would never fail or falter, and all peoples and nations and men of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed.